Welcome back everybody. This is episode 6 of the Hydrogeology Playlist. So in this episode we are using QGIS to create groundwater contours and then we're going to determine the uh, the gradient and the general groundwater flow path of uh, based on the contours that we create. So this is somewhere in random ass ca Kansas. It's just somewhere I zoomed in on you know here in QGIS. Um, I am going to create a f shape file and I'm going to give it a, uh, a field to have uh, not only, you know, just uh, so what we'll do is we'll just do hydraulic head. Well, okay, head. We'll create a field. Okay. And then we'll. we'll create our wells, our random wells. These don't exist to my knowledge. I'm just randomly picking spots. So we'll go here. This is going to be well one at 150. Okay. Two, 148. Three at 146. Four at 138. Five at a hundred thirty two, six at a hundred thirty, seven at a hundred thirty. Well, let's go twenty eight, and then the last well eight will be a hundred twenty. Okay, so we're gonna okay. First, you gotta click save click out of the pencil um, okay and then we want to label our uh, our wells so we'll label them with the hydraulic head instead of the ID well, so we have 150 all the way down to 120 these are eight wells so the next step is to create our contours so when you create contours in QGIS you uh, go into plugins and there's a contour plugin. Um, you just search it up here and it'll pop up and you click install. For me, I've already installed it so it says reinstall. But it shows up on uh, your little uh, whatever you want to call this. And as this logo right here, we have the shapefile clicked and we're going to use head as the data value. As you can see, it lists all our values. And I think that's it. We we'll also want to give it a background that allows us to see it better. So we will color it blue, a light blue or something. No, let's go green for this one. Let's see. Okay. So we've colored it yellow. But as you can see, these contours are too sharp. They're too angular. Luckily, QGIS has a tool that we can use to smooth them out. So, 10 iterations. The more you increase the iterations, the more, well, the smoother it gets. So, we'll go with 10 iterations, and uh, we should be able to see a significant difference in the curvature. So, and we'll change the color so we could see it better. Let's see. We'll go, oops. We'll go blue. Okay, that works. So as you can see, you know, very angular. And that's what they look like now. They're smooth. They look like contours. So now we can delete. Well, we'll just uh, we'll just do that for now. So so to create um, to calculate the gradient, it's dh over dl. The change in head is dh, so 150 minus 120 is 30. And then to figure out the distance, the change in length, which is basically the distance between these two points, you go to the measuring tool. We want it in feet, and we're just gonna measure from here to here. It looks like we can round to 35, 65. So. 
I have my calculator here. It's going to be 30 divided by 3565. And our gradient is 0 0.0084, which is a typical, you know, it sounds pretty close to a, a you know, a typical uh, gradient. So we have our gradient as 0 0.008 based on this contour map. And what I'll do now is bring out the print layout so we can add a, so we can uh, do our groundwater flow arrows, okay? And we'll change the scale to 5,000. That looks good. Okay, so when you, when oh, maybe we should do that too. Hold on. Let's label the, uh, the groundwater contours. And it's pretty easy to label them. We'll obviously label them as the wells or the heads. Okay, now they're labeled. And I'm going to update that picture. Let's see. Okay, so I had my game recorder stop. But anyways, okay, so we have our contours in here. This is going to be high head to low head. So we're flowing this way for sure from here to here. Um, and when you create your arrows, you want to make sure that you're parallel to each contour or perpendicular. So this is perpendicular. The flow would be about there, about there. It looks about the same and it kind of changes right here. Looks like it's right there. Perpendicular. Kind of looks like the contour would end right here, but we'll go right here. So as you can see, the general uh, the general flow path is basically southeast. You have south more south in this portion of the groundwater flow path, but it's pretty much just southeast, um, which I designed it specifically to do that way. So yeah, I mean that that's really all you have to do to create uh, contours and determine your gradient and your flow path in uh, QGIS. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I appreciate you watching. Thank you.